Hi, this is Harsha Nagarajan and I am a staff scientist at Los Alamos National Laboratory. Today I will be presenting about Quantum Circuit Opt, an open source framework for provably optimal quantum circuit design. An outline for this talk is as follows. I'll give a short introduction to quantum computing and a necessity for a package of this type. And then I'll very briefly talk about the mathematical programs which are underlying this package and how does this package uh, connect to various mixed integer programming solvers for solving the circuit design problem using jump based packages. And then I'll present the quantum circuit opts framework and uh, how is this as a package taking uh, different user defined features and how could it be developed to support native gates of different quantum processors, etc. And then I'll present a few compact circuit realizations obtained using this package and how does it have optimality guarantees. And then I'll conclude this presentation. Now let's look at a brief background on the quantum computing. As we know, computing is at the heart of almost every technological development which has a major impact on the society. For example, even in fundamental sciences or in applications of engineering, entertainment, health, social media, to just name a few. Supercomputers are very important in performing big numerical calculations as there is a desire for high computational speed. However, while simulations without actual experiments are very important, some problems are just way too hard to solve. For example, combinatorial optimization problems are NP hard and they can take forever or even multiple months to solve just a single program on a supercomputer. Such limitations of classical computing have been up to some extent tried to be alleviated by improving the quality of microprocessors which are at the heart of these computing devices. As it can be seen in the figure on the left here, Moore's law states that the number of transistors in an integrated circuit chip roughly double every two years. However, there is also a fundamental question which is, while hitting such basic physical limits, does there exist anything beyond this Moore's law to solve such computationally hard problems? The answer to this seems to be quantum computing. There has been a tremendous push by Department of Energy of United States for useful quantum computing and also by various countries across the world. There has also been a race for quantum supremacy across the countries of this world where the goal is to demonstrate that a programmable quantum computer can solve a particular problem that no classical or supercomputer can solve it in any feasible amount of time. In order to demonstrate such a supremacy, Various quantum algorithms were developed which can be found at this link in the bottom of the slide. Two such important problems were the prime factorization where the Shor's quantum algorithm had a super polynomial speed up over its classical counterpart and in an important class of optimization problem called the semi-definite programming, a quantum algorithm was shown to have a quadratic speed up over the classical algorithm. At the heart of such quantum algorithms is a quantum circuit which can be implemented in a quantum processor. In its simplest terms, a quantum circuit as shown in this figure here is an ordered sequence of unitary gates or matrices performed on qubits where a qubit is a quantum version of a bit. Usually, these unitaries are applied on one and two qubit gates, something like in this which is used to represent an arbitrary entangled state. A quantum circuit takes in basically a preparation of an initial pure state, performs an unitary evolution by applying matrix operations on them, and then as an output certain measurements of observables are taken to be able to obtain certain state vectors. To this end, an important research goal is to be able to implement any quantum algorithm, also represented using a target unitary matrix, into a shortest possible sequence of such 1 and 2 qubit gates. While decomposing a quantum algorithm into a circuit of 1 and 2 qubit gates, certain specific architectural constraints of a processor's hardware have to be satisfied. For example, here are a few popular hardware based native gate sets. For the IBM's 5 qubit processor and for the Rigetti's 8 qubit processor, these are the 1 and 2 qubit gates which form the basis for being able to decompose or implement any quantum algorithm in these respective processors. 
While implementing algorithms into hardware feasible circuits, what we really care about is to be able to minimize the measurement noise in the quantum processor in which these algorithms are implemented. The key properties that define the quality of the transpile circuit are the error rate of the one and two qubit gates, where typically the two qubit entangling gates like C0 gates are much more error prone. And also the total depth of the circuit where the shortest possible sequence of gates would lead to lesser measurement errors and also the inter-qubit connectivity and the qubit coherence times. In this package, the two primary objectives which we will be focusing on is to be able to minimize the 2-qubit C0 gates and also the depth of the circuit. For this purpose, there are already numerous software libraries which can automate the process of converting the needs of a quantum designer into optimized circuits with desired levels of accuracies. For example, here are the popular ones by IBM, Google, Amazon, and Microsoft. But there are also many more such packages which are built for very similar purposes. These packages are good at providing not only the circuits for an input target unitary, but they can also provide an interface to be able to write and manipulate these circuits and be able to run them on real-time quantum computers or simulators. While these libraries provide good quality circuits, they do not necessarily provide any mechanism to measure how close they are to the best possible circuit. The community is hence lacking both methods and software packages that can provide theoretical guarantees on the solution quality of the obtained circuit decompositions. And this is the gap which we are looking at filling using the tools from mathematical programming and optimization based methods. And we propose this package quantum circuit opt, which can be at this point ideally applied on medium to small scale circuits and which are also again ideal on the NISC type devices. Let us now very briefly look at the underlying mathematical programs in this package for the problem of optimal quantum circuit design. To formulate this as a mathematical program, let us consider a generic quantum circuit which is parameterized by number of qubits and the maximum allowable depth. We also assume that this circuit can only be populated by 1 and 2 qubit gates which form as the native gate set. For explanatory purposes, we only take the native gate set of this type uh, which is supported by the IBM quantum processor. However, this can also be generalized to other type of gates. Here we also assume that these gates have constant parameters and this is necessary to be uh, compatible with this package at this point. However, one of our future directions of work is to also generalize this uh, native gate set to gates with also continuous angle parameters. Here we take the universal gate with three angle parameters where two of these angles are fixed to zero while the lambda angle can be discretized to any set of values given by the user and then also the Rx gate and the identity gate which are the one qubit gates with constant parameters and the C0 gate which is the two qubit gate. Next we introduce the variables and the constraints of mathematical program. The variables include binary choices of gate locations represented by Z variables and uh, these Binary variables are allocated for every gate in the native gate set, which is also parameterized by the qubit location and the depth of the circuit. Then we introduce the matrix of variables, which is the GD matrix, and this becomes clearer through these constraints. This first set of constraints enforce that there is only single gate from the native gate set, which is chosen per depth of the circuit. We introduce this simplification so that we can escape the nonlinearities arising due to the Kronecker products of uh, unitary gates. And uh, also, without any loss of generality, any quantum circuit can be represented by these constraints. Then comes the more important constraints, which are the multiplicative property of these unitary gates representing the evolution across the depth of the circuit. Given an initial state G0, the evolution is represented by the product of these matrix of variables, which are the GD variables, which have to equate to the target gate or the target computation, which happens to be the user input. Notice that these constraints are not only nonlinear, they can also be non-convex, even when the native gate set have uh, constant parameters in those matrices. And uh, this needs an additional set of linearization constraints, and which is what we introduce in this formulation. Next, the objective function of the mathematical program is 
to either minimize the total number of 1 and 2 qubit gates in the circuit, which can also serve as a proxy for the execution time of the circuit, or to minimize the total number of entangling C0 or the 2 qubit gates in order to reduce the measurement errors of the circuit. Notice that either of these objective functions is going to be an affine function of the binary variables which were introduced in the previous slide. We are also working on extending these objective functions to different types of objectives such as to minimize the crosstalk noise of a quantum processor, etc. And this will be considered in our future directions. Let us put everything together now. Given a set of inputs which is the number of qubits, maximum allowable depth for the circuit, a target unitary and a set of native gates for the quantum processor, we have formulated a mathematical program or to be a precise a mixed integer program with a set of variables, constraints and objective function. This mixed integer program or MIP can be solved exactly to optimality using MIP solvers and the output of this solver is going to be an optimal solution which is an exact circuit to implement the target gate up to a global phase and machine precision. I did not discuss the details of the global phase in this presentation but it can be found in the package. Although MIP solvers such as CPLEX and Gorobi are known to perform very well on generic MIPs, these solvers can be further accelerated by adding problem specific enhancements. And this is exactly where the role of quantum circuit opt as a package comes in because given a set of native gate set and the target gate, the package automatically derives these additional valid constraints and adds to the formulation to accelerate the performance of these solvers without affecting the quality of optimal solutions. For example, there is a lot of symmetry which can be broken by adding the following valid constraints. In the native gate set, if there are commuting gate pairs, then one of these pairs can be eliminated by adding a valid constraint as a function of the binary variables, which was introduced in the previous slides. Similarly, the involutory, idempotent and redundant gate pairs can also be eliminated by adding these type of valid constraints to break a lot of symmetry in the MIP formulation. The package also automatically recognizes and derives these reduced sized mixed integer programs by eliminating identical gates which usually appear during the angle discretizations of the U3 gate. And also reduced size MIPs are applied when the both native gates and the target gate have only real valued entries. Further, if the user has a feasible input circuit which can be potentially up obtained from one of our favorite quantum libraries such as IBM's Qiskit or Google Circ, then this solution can also be added as a warm starting point to the mixed integer program. And typically these warm starting points can accelerate the convergence of the branch and bond algorithm in the solver and hence can also accelerate the performance to obtain global solutions. Let us now look at the framework and how to use the quantum circuit opt package. QCOPT is an open source toolkit which is a registered package. So it can be downloaded either from the Julia package manager directly or by cloning from this GitHub link. QCOPT is built upon the recent success of Julia programming language, Julia for mathematical programming package, which is the jump and MIP solver technologies. At a very high level, QCOPT provides an abstraction layer to achieve two primary goals. One is to capture user specified inputs such as desired quantum computation and the available hardware gates, and it carefully crafts a MIP formulation and passes it over to the jump layer, which in turn passes it to MIP solvers such as CPLEX and Gorobi. Once the MIP model is solved to optimality, QCOPT finally extracts and analyzes and post processes the solution from the jump model to provide optimal circuits. Here is a list of standard 1 qubit and 2 qubit gates which are supported within the package, which can also serve as options for the native gate set. There is a huge library of such gates which can be found comprehensively in the documentation of the package. As expected, all the Clifford and the non-Clifford group gates are part of the 1 qubit gates and also the 1 qubit gates with the angle parameters such as the rotation gates and the U3 gate are part of the package. Also. As part of the two qubit gates, the C0 gate and also the control versions of all the one qubit gates are within the package. Let us now see how to use QC op to invoke different types of quantum gates. For a one qubit Hadamard gate, here is the function how, on how to invoke this gate whose output is a two by two complex matrix. 
However, when the same Hadamard gate is located on the second qubit of a two qubit circuit, this is the function with which we invoke this Hadamard gate located on the second qubit. And this string is always separated by an underscore symbol followed by the argument of number of qubits. This naturally results in a four by four complex matrix. Similarly, an one qubit universal gate parameterized by three angles can be invoked using this function, which uh, has an input of three angles, which are in this order of theta phi and lambda. However, when the same U3 gate is located on the second qubit of a two qubit circuit, this is how we use the function. The only difference with this uh, function is the third argument, which includes the angle parameters, and that results to the output of a four by four complex matrix. Now let us look at a more interesting case of the two qubit control V gate. Invoking this gate is quite simple and uh, the four by four complex matrix form of this is as shown below. However, when the same gate is located in the reverse position, which is with the control on the third qubit and the target on the second qubit of this three qubit circuit, the way we invoke this particular gate in the matrix form is using this function where the argument is separated in this order of gate type, the control qubit and the target qubit, which are all separated by the underscore symbols. And the resulting eight by eight complex matrix is shown below. Here is a sample implementation to decompose control Z gate using U3 and C0 gates in the package. First, we import all the relevant packages, which are the QC opt, jump and the MIP solver packages. Then we input the target gate to be decomposed, which is the control Z gate in this case. Then we input the params dictionary, which contains multiple set of inputs. Since the circuit is parameterized by both the number of commits and the maximum allowable depth, we need to enter those two information initially, followed by the native gate set. In this case, we have the potential of locating the U3 gate on either of the qubits and the C0 gate, which is a two qubit gate, followed by the identity gate. We include this identity in order to be able to minimize the depth of the circuit. Then we enter the Euler angle discretizations for the U3 gate, in which case these are three angles which need to be discretized, followed by an objective function, which is to minimize the depth of the circuit in this case. Finally, we let QC out build and run the optimization model. And the output is as follows. UC op first detects a lot of non-unique gates in the native gate set due to all the angle discretizations and then applies various symmetry breaking constraints which we discussed earlier. And as expected, the optimal depth for the circuit is equal to three with uh, U3 gates parameterized by these values of angles. Let us now look at a few compact circuit realizations obtained using the package. Here is the computational setup for QC opt package for all the results from here on. In particular, we have observed that using Gurobi as the underlying MIP solver seems to perform the best. We now present the efficacy of symmetry breaking valid constraints, which were discussed as part of MIP enhancements earlier. Note that the package derives these additional constraints automatically depending on the native gate set and the target gate. For this purpose, we considered various target gates to be decomposed in two qubits. This column represents the total number of gates in the native gate set, and this is the column of maximum allowable depth for each of these target gates. This column represents the total runtime without adding any of these valid constraints, that is the vanilla MIP solved using the Gurobi solver. And here are the runtimes by adding these additional valid constraints by the package. Clearly, there is a tremendous speed up by adding these additional constraints. And in particular, for the Grover diffusion operator, there was a speed up of up to 180 times. Speaking about the Grover's diffusion operator, it is well known that this operator forms a key building block of the Grover's algorithm, which is commonly found useful for searching a randomly ordered database of n elements in order of square root n operations. As seen in this figure, each of these operations are represented by the Grover's operator, which is repeatedly applied into the circuit. And the representation of this operator in two qubits is as shown here with its matrix representation in two qubits. Let us now look at circuits to implement this operator. Both in the literature and in the IBM's Cascade documentation, here is the circuit representation, which has depth equal to seven. Using the QC opt's optimal realization and the native gate set, which is the Clifford T and the C0 gates, we get 
an optimal circuit with depth equal to 4, which was a significant reduction compared to the one here. However, this was also further improved by using U3 gate with discretized angle parameters and C0 gates in the native gate set. This was certainly possible because of the efficient implementation of the MIP formulations in the package. Also, the benefit of having these compact representations of the circuit will become apparent when these circuits are repeatedly applied in an algorithm like Grover's algorithm where the implementation of the algorithm can be much more efficient using these compact realizations. We also obtained optimal realizations for larger circuits with up to 4 qubits using this package. For example, we considered the following target unitaries, the Tafoli, Fredkin, Double Tafoli and the Quantum Full Adder gates. It is interesting to note that the optimal realizations shown in the slide are also identical to the ones obtained in this paper. However, the runtimes of the package is close to 60 times faster than what was mentioned in this paper, particularly for the quantum full adder gate. This could be again attributed to the quality of the MIP formulations implemented in this package and also on the improvements in the MIP solver technologies. Here, let us look at how QCOPT can support native gate sets for a different hardware based on global multi-qubit gates. Rydberg Atom Arrays are a leading platform for quantum computing and simulation, which have gained significant attention in the recent years. QERA's quantum processor is one such commercial platform, which is built on qubits based on Rydberg atoms. The strength of this processor is that it is fast and also can support high quality multi-qubit gates with parallel pulses. And also this processor is known for its excellent coherence properties. The native gate set as discussed in this paper for such a processor are typically the multi-qubit global rotation gate, the single qubit rotation gate, which are both parameterized by the angles, and the two qubit control Z gate. In particular, the multi-qubit global rotation gate is equivalent to applying this gate on every qubit simultaneously, or which can also be looked at applying the single qubit rotation gate at every qubit and taking the measurement in parallel. Let us construct C0 gates circuit using Rydberg Atom Array's native gate set. Here is a code snippet which contains the user defined input parameters. In particular, for the native gate set, the local qubit rotation gates are parameterized by the qubit numbers and of course the control Z gate with its control and the target qubit. However, for the global rotation gate, there is no need to specify the qubit numbers as the package automatically applies this gate uh, simultaneously on all the qubits for a given depth. And also all the angle discretizations have to be mentioned here. For this, a QC ops output is an optimal circuit with depth equal to 5, where this is the circuit to implement the C0 gate. This circuit is of course constructed using uh, the local qubit rotations, the global rotations, and also the native CZ gate. Before I conclude this presentation, I would like to thank all the collaborators here at LANL and the visiting graduate students who contributed to the package development and also for the mathematical modeling aspects. For more details on the optimization formulations and the models implemented in the package, I would suggest to look at this paper which we published last year at the supercomputing conference. Here is the link at the bottom of the slide to access this paper. Here are a few concluding remarks. We proposed quantum circuit opt the first ever Julia-based software package, which implements provably optimal methods to compile any arbitrary unitary gate into a sequence of hardware native gates. QCOPT also proved a few new optimal circuit realizations on medium-sized circuits using native gate sets supported by various types of quantum processors, including the global multi-qubit rotation gates. Extensibility of the Julia language and the function-based architecture of the well-documented QCOPT package can certainly enable a robust software infrastructure. Finally, we encourage the quantum computing community to explore this package and also contribute to this novel platform. Thank you. Here is the link where this package can be accessed.